Good day, learners! Welcome to Black Science! Here, you can learn bio science contents and enjoy simple tasks. I am Petro Leonard, and together, let us discover the mystery of things through science. For this lesson, you'll determine the effects of changing the number or type of components in a circuit. Sa araling ito ay inyong matututunan ang epekto ng pagbabago ng bilang o type ng components sa isang circuit. But before that, let us have a quick review of our previous topic about the necessary conditions to make a bulb light up. Balikan natin ang iba't ibang components ng isang simple circuit. Number 1, wires. Number 2, light bulb. Number 3, switch. Number 4, source or battery. And what is this type of circuit? Correct! Open circuit! Ngayon ay pagtambali natin ang concept na nasa column B sa kanyang description na nasa column A. Number 1, a circuit where electricity cannot flow is an open circuit. Number 2, a complete path of electricity is called circuit. Number 3, a source of energy is battery. Number 4, a circuit where electricity flows freely is a closed circuit. And number 5, wires connect the light bulb and the battery. Very good! But before we start our lesson, let us play Riddle Riddle on the Wall. Sagutin lamang ang tinutukoy ng bugtong. Riddle Riddle on the Wall Isang butil ng palay, puno ang buong bahay. Tama! Ilaw o light bulb. Riddle Riddle on the Wall Iba-iba ang kulay ko, nagbibigay sigla sa paparating na Pasko. Tama! Christmas lights! Now, what is the difference o ang pagkakaiba ng Christmas lights and light bulbs at home? Hmm... Kung titingnan natin ang structure o ang pagkakabuo ng components ng Christmas lights, it follows the concept of series circuit. On the other hand, ang mga ilaw natin sa tahanan ay nagpapakita naman ng parallel circuit. Now, what is the difference between series and parallel circuit? Makikita natin sa diagram ang mga components ng series circuit. Mapapansin na ang mga ilaw o bulbs ay konektado sa isa't isa. Makikita rin na mayroon lamang single path o isang daanan ang electric current mula sa source or battery patungo sa mga bumbilya. That's why kapag ang isang bumbilya ay pundido o maluwag ang pagkakatakid nito, ay hindi na iilaw ang iba pang mga bumbilya sa series circuit. Ito ay dahil nagkaroon ng break o gap sa pathway na daraanan ng electricity mula sa source o battery patungo sa mga bumbilya. In a parallel circuit, ang mga bumbilya o light bulbs ay may kanya-kanyang pathways na daraanan ng electricity mula sa source or battery. Kung kaya't kahit mapundi o maluwag ang pagkakatakid ng isang bumbilya ay ni parallel circuit, hindi nito maapektuhan ang pag-ilaw ng iba pang mga bumbilya. A break or gap in a pathway does not make all the light go out dahil meron pa rin ibang daraanan ang electricity mula sa source of battery patungo sa mga bumbilya. That's why it is appropriate to use parallel circuit at home. Now let us answer 
the following learning tasks. Which diagram shows a parallel circuit? Which picture shows the application of series circuit? Which statement is correct about series circuit? Which circuit is appropriate to use at home? Just remember that series and parallel are both circuit in which an electric current can flow around. In series circuit, electric current flows through a single pathway. While in parallel circuit, a break in one pathway does not make all the lights go out. Identify the statement if it's true or false. In a series circuit, when one bulb is busted or loosened, other bulbs will not light anymore. In a parallel circuit, when one bulb is busted or loosened, other bulbs will no longer light up. Regular inspection of electrical cords can prevent fire caused by electricity. Christmas lights will still light up even one bulb is defective. It is appropriate to use series circuit at home. Great job, learners! I know that you have enjoyed and discovered new things today. I am Teacher Leonard saying goodbye and see you on our next Blast Science!